June is our month of supernatural strategy. But to be the month for the spirit of counsel. So the spirit of counsel shall be in control of this month of June. We see my fourth direction with, with, with Joshua. David inquired when Saul died. He is the the king. David inquired of the Lord. And he was specific. Go to Hebron. Not, 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 not Jabez Gilead, not, not Kaijah Jeriam, not just anywhere, not Beersheba, not Dan. Go to Hebron. Specifics. How can you, how can you journey into, into a tomorrow in this wicked world without the spirit of counsel? You think the time spent to get counsel is a wasted time? No, it's a time of productivity. It's a time to make profit that you couldn't even make. With all of your best intelligence, with all of your best brains. The time spent to get counsel is never wasted, brothers and sisters. It is a time to gain the advantage of our life. However urgent the matter is, remember this one thing, that God is never too late. It's never too late with God. And if it's never too late with God, why then do you allow your rationality to guide you? Why do you seek all that counsel? He says, he says, he says, blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Why do you want to walk with the counsel of your dad and your mom who are not the led of, of the Spirit of God? Why should they pressure you to do what God is not going to do? Have you forgotten my story? How the Lord spoke and said, when you are 36, there will be pressure on you to get married. At 36, some men should have been long married, having their kids. At, at, at 36, the Lord spoke to me, told me five years before, and I said, when you are 36, there'll be pressure on you to get married. He said, but don't do it. At 36? Because for some people, at 36, you are too, late, you are too old not to be married. But he tells us, he makes all things beautiful in its time. When it was time, it was seamless. It was beautiful. And I'm just looking at those who married before 30. I'm wondering where they are now. Looking at where they are, I'm wondering what difference did your marrying, marrying early make now? What difference did it make? It tells us that the race of life is not to the swift. The battles of life is not to the strong. Why are, we, why are we led of our senses when God has given a spirit of counsel? Why do we suffer in the presence of the Lord? Why do we walk out of the path of life? When pleasures are in the path of life. There is the path of life, brothers and sisters, and they are the path of death. Did you notice it tells us at the end of it are the ways of death in plural? And then he said the path of life in singular. So that means the path of life is not, it tells you, um, it, it, it's not something you can just find, you can't just discern the, the path of life with your senses. You discern it by the Spirit of God. Like he says, broad is the way that leads to destruction. But narrow is the path that leads to life. So he says there's a way that similar to my, the end of it are the ways of death. But then he said, that will lead me in the path of life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. I said something earlier. I want to say it again. I said the spirit of counsel sees varieties of ways and options out of every supposed darkness. The spirit of counsel sees varieties of ways and options out of every supposed darkness, deadlock, He sees varieties of ways and options. Out of every supposed darkness and deadlock. No way out does not exist with him. <laughs> glory to God. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Manta kabogo sengradiga shelebracta lagistus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. I said, Hallelujah, glory. La custa bandre mandilo kashaladitis. Oh, glory to God. 
Oh, hallelujah. You know, I saw research team that right now I can tell everything about him. But one of the scriptures you must hear today, even though I will be wrapping it up now, he said, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. But he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 15. Just have that in your record, just for your knowing. Esther benefits. Glory to God. Oh, Shagradila Askes. Ayalabastos. He that hagnet the counsel is wise. The way of a fool is right in his eyes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah, glory. Did you read this other portion? He says, The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the device of the people of none affair. But the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. The thought of his heart to a generation. Psalm 33 verses 10 and 11. Just blessing you with some few truths. Some other scriptures. And then in Proverbs 19, 20 and 21, he says, Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mightest be wise in the latter end. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mightest be wise in the latter end. There are many devices in the man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. And then he described God in Isaiah. He says, God that is wonderful in counsel and excellent in walking. Wonderful in counsel, excellent in walking. Isaiah chapter 28, 24 to 29. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, boy. I said he's the spirit of specifics. Mm. Did you read when the psalmist said, Thou will guide me with thy counsel? He said, Thou will guide me with thy counsel. Afterward, thou shalt receive me up to glory. Psalm 73 and 24. Thou will guide me with your counsel. Thou will guide me with thy counsel. He treasured it more than anything else. He said, And afterward, you will receive me up to glory. And then Jesus ex exposed the apostles to him. Jesus brought the apostles and said, listen, as the spirit of specifics, he said, listen, for my sake, you'll be brought before the elders, brought before the judges to be condemned. He said, don't premeditate what you will say. Don't premeditate what you will say. For in that same moment, the spirit of counsel will speak through you. I want to show you. And that's the final scripture quickly. Luke, book of, of Luke chapter 12. The spirit of specifics. Lord, there's a lot to say about you, but I will pause here for today. I will pause here for today. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Book of Luke 12. Let's read that and close. Look at it. 11 and 12. And when they bring you unto the synagogues and unto magistrates and powers, taking no thought how or what thing you shall answer or what you shall say. Don't premeditate it. He said, don't bother about it. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour not before the meeting in the same hour what you ought to say specific not what you should what not just you should say it he said what you ought to say and then he said they were fitly spoken it's like apples of gold in pictures of silver at that moment the spirit of counsel will show up but you see he shows up based on your level of relationship with him that's where relationship comes to play. It matters how well you know him, how close you are to him. For some, he won't say anything to them. Because if you, if you only call to him when you're in grave danger, he says, I come to pass that when they cry, I will not respond. Because when I called, they didn't respond. Look at it. Did you ever read that? When I called, they didn't respond. He says, and so when the calamity comes, I will laugh at them. I will laugh at them. That's what he says. 
Look at it. Mm. Ah. It's a Lord, but I can't read everything to you right now. Just learn this. He says, Wisdom, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20, quickly. He said, Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse. In the opening of the gate, in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and still have delight in their scorning? And fools hate not let. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit into you, uh, counsel. I will make known my words to you, counsel, because I have called and ye refused. I have stood at my hand and no man regarded, but you have said that not all my counsel. Are you here? You said that not, but, so I told you when he said my words, counsel, my words, my words, my words, my words. So he said, because you have said that not all my counsel and with none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as, as a whirlwind. When this is an angry coming upon you, I will laugh. They shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. You see counsel. You see counsel. Brothers and sisters, refuse to walk in darkness. Refuse to walk in confusion. Refuse to be pressured to make the stupid decisions. Refuse to let your parents make you make decisions that you shouldn't make. Refuse them. Walk in the counsel of the Lord. The glorious life belongs to the spirit of counsel. Thou shalt guide me thy counsel. Afterward, thou shalt be seen of the glory. You've seen in the life of Jacob, strategy, life of Joshua. Did you ever read how that when Joshua was about to cross the river Jordan, the spirit of counsel showed up and said, you know what? You're not crossing like Moses crossed the Red Sea. He said, get 12 elders, the priest, and let them go carry, let them, let them, let them, let them get, get the, the instrument of praise ready. He said that it shall come to pass that as soon as the feet of the priest touch the journey to part. Strategy. Moses speak to the rock. Next time he says, strike the rock. First time strike the rock. Next time speak to the rock. You know, he is not stereotyped. He is dynamic. And we see that in the life of David. The first time the Philistines came, he said, go after them. Next time he said, no, go behind. When you hear the sound of the mulberry tree, go behind. Counsel of God. He says, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand forever. Counsel back to power. Miracle producing strategy. That's what counsel is. Miracle producing strategy. That's what counsel is. I told you earlier. Brothers and sisters, as we wrap up this meeting, one important question you should ask is, how do I receive the spirit of God? How do I receive counsel? It's very simple. Number one, ask. Ask. Because the Bible says, David inquired. And it says, they that seek me, they shall find me. Ask. Number two, seek. By seeking, I mean request and wait for it. Request and wait for If you ask the Lord what to do, don't act until he tells you what to do. Not like you ask the Lord and you go ahead hoping that because you told him whatever you are doing must be the right thing. No! Wait for the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Glory to God. Are you still here? Wait on the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wait on the Lord. You think David just said to the Lord, Lord, should I go? Should I pursue? Will I recover? And he just left. No. 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 When he led Israel, did you see how he led them? It tells you when you read the Numbers chapter 9, 
He said, when the Spirit moved, because that was the of counsel that led them, direction, the Holy Ghost. When he moved, is there moved? And he said, when he, when he waited, is there waited? Whether he waited for a day or a year, when I got to that point where he says the Spirit will wait for a year, that cloud of his presence, the Holy Ghost himself will wait for a year on one spot. Israel would not move. And Lord spoke to me when I read it and said, if you were Moses, if for one year you do not record a single program, will you still believe I'm with you? If in one year, because not moving is symbolic of no progress. No word from the Lord. No action from the Lord. It's there. Whether he waited for a year, a month, they waited. And go, I read this. I was in my 20s when I read it. 20s, early 20s, when I first read that portion. He told me, son, if you were Moses, and for one year you don't hear a word from me. Will you still believe I'm with you? If for one you do not recover with you, I said, Lord, I won't believe. He said, learn how to walk with me by the, from this very act. But notice something. Moses didn't say, this God is taking too much time. Let's just go. I don't know what's happening. Let's go. Let's leave him behind and go. That's what happened to many Christians. Because the Lord has not done anything. He has not moved. To be, I told to be led of what it means to be led of the Spirit. I say, speaking by the Spirit. Doing by the Spirit, acting by the Spirit. That's to be led of the Spirit. Speaking by the, it says, and, and the Spirit of God moved, then God said. Speaking by the Spirit. And then He tells you how that the Spirit of God said to Elijah. And Elijah said thus Elijah, go, he went. He said to Ezekiel, shall, shall, this, shall this both live? Ezekiel said, only you know. And he said, Ezekiel say, and he said. And Romans 8, 14 tells us, for as many. He didn't say all that are. No, for as many. It tells not everyone. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are those that God commits responsibilities to. They are the sons of God, the heroes. Those who can function instead of God. Are you led of the Spirit? Are you led of your senses? How do we know who is led of the Spirit? Your results. Everybody is traveling abroad. You want to travel abroad. Has the Lord sent you there? Are you everybody? Have, are you aware you can make a decision that you will pay for 10 years from now? You can, you can move today and never know that you have left your place of your, your, your position of, of favor and destiny your, faith, your place of, of God's divine plan I mean I, I may not know until 10 years time the day Adam died was not the day he died physically it may take some time brothers and sisters don't leave he said leave not thy place leave not thy place when your flesh tear you up to act because God is not speaking. Leave not that place. When so much pressure is coming from home, leave not that place. Because if you jump into the fire at the counsel of your parents, you you be not to feel the, feel the heat. The Lord told me, at 36, there'll be pressure. And guess what? I became 36 today. The next two days, I began to feel the pressure. My elders I spoke. My siblings began. They had a meeting on me. What are you waiting for? Is that same thing? I'm not getting any younger. You're not getting any younger. You're not getting any younger. I heard it so much until I could, I could almost make an album out of it. My cousin, oh, out of love and care. Oh, what's going on? Who is she? You're not getting any younger. And, and there, were, there were a lot of people who said all these things to me everywhere. These were people who didn't hear, who didn't hear God, who didn't know the voice of God. But the Lord spoke to me five years before that time. Don't. And I waited. I waited. He says, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And he shall grant thee the desires of your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, people. Wait on the Lord. Glory to God. Look at it. Are you still here? Glory to God. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Glory to God. To 
portions. Hear this one. He said, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Next one says, wait on the Lord. First of all, Psalm 27 verse 14. This is Psalm 37 verse 34. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see. Wait and he shall exalt you. Wait and he shall exalt you. Psalm 37 verse 34. Wait and he shall exalt you. Psalm 37 34. Wait and he shall exalt thee. But he said, He that hasteneth, sinneth with his feet. But he that believed does not make haste. My parents are putting pressure on me. And then you go marry a, a, a gay. And they say, Be praying God will change him. If I, if I were to say what's on my mouth to say, you say, I used to say, Pastor, <laughs> it's so bad. Because of the anger that we, of people putting us under pressure to do stupid things. That don't know the counsel of God. Carnally minded brothers and sisters whose minds have strayed from God. Man is man. Woman is woman. That's what they say. What's the essence? Not to go produce children. And not getting younger. Am I older than Abraham? Are you older than Sarah? For my ways are not your ways. How can you be a child of God and adopt the ways of man? A child of God should adopt the ways of God. Say, sir, he's getting so you block them. You block them. I warn my siblings about it. I warn them. Don't I told them I have the time level. Oh, you know, every other year we say, Well, all this time God told you. When is it? He's going to at least that year. When is at least the year? I have to say, is it your marriage? Please, I don't want any conversation about this any longer. All they didn't know was that, or one of the things they didn't know was that, as I grow older in age, I was going to be growing younger in appearance. They didn't know that. They didn't know that. They, they thought, oh, uh, you may grow too old and not be able to, you know, bear children and those so far and all that, uh, the womb and all of those things. I said, mm, you don't know the God that's speaking to me. Just hold your peace and get it behind me. I'm saying it to all of you because I've seen a, a, a crowd of believers who have left their place, their wealthy places out of ignorance. But the psalmist said, you caused me to write my box. He said, but all of that was to bring us to a wealthy place. But that those who wouldn't let that happen, they can't enjoy it. They just walk away from their wealthy place. Start picking, start, start serving tables in London. Waiter and waitresses of loading truck to get by in it. <laughs> in it. Come on, brothers and sisters. Did you read about Isaac? By the spirit of counsel, he dug well and water came out. The same place others would dig, not will come out. What you need has been given to you at the new birth. Tear it up. Rely on it. Talk to him. Talk to him. When you need counsel, ask him. He is with you. Jesus, when he comes, he shall be, he said, he shall be in you. Even though he's with you, he shall be in you. And he shall guide you through all truth and he will show you of things to come. He, will, he said, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you for it is advantageous for you that I go. For if I go not away, the counselor will not come. He's called the counselor himself. <laughs> How would you read about that? He said, for if I do not go, the counselor will not come. But if I go, I will send him. And when he comes, and when he comes, you make a choice to be on point. Your ear will hear what's behind you. You won't just go to Egypt without the counsel of the Lord. You won't just take up any random job. Look at David. They took his wife. How many of you would do that? How many of you have ever lost your phone and you, you decide to wait for the Lord to tell where this phone is? No. You dance around the market. Every place you didn't even go, you start searching for the phone. You become a madman. 
and with no options are exhausted. You've exhausted all the energy and everything. You couldn't get it. So go waste my food. Is that how to seek counsel? How about if you if you stood on that spot and say, Oh Lord God, before his eyes all things are open and naked. You see all things though. You, I know you do, you know where my phone is now. Lord, go with my phone. And you just be sure that your phone is on your in your arm. You know how you have kept something and you are looking for everywhere. Everywhere. I never knew that. It's even with you. I'm sure something I've ever been to that place. You look for every I mean, you 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 just you kept your wrist in your pocket, you'll be searching everywhere. And then after one week, you decide to wear that shirt again. And you first something. And, I, some of you say angel came to put it. Like, angel, angel didn't put it anywhere. It was always there. It's always been there. Always been there. It's the same thing with other things of life. David inquired. Inquired is to diligently make requests and wait for answers. Diligently make requests and wait for answers. Lord, what would you have me do about this situation? I told you how I had the best investment opportunities. But then I wouldn't just jump in. I said, Lord, the options are beautiful. They, they are viable options. What do you have me do? Before you, you, you invest hundreds of thousands of dollars and then they call you on the phone and say we we want to talk to you in person <laughs> you know the um, the market has been fluctuating for some time now beyond our prediction we had predicted uh we'll be experiencing the bull market but right now it seems to be the other way around it's the bear market we are really experiencing right now we're starting to let you know that we lost all your dollars <laughs> Imagine you tell you lost your hundred thousand dollars. You know how much that is in Naira? Isn't that one hundred and fifty million Naira? Or more? Sixty million Naira. One hundred and sixty million. That's a hundred thousand dollars. If they tell you lost one hundred if you lose one hundred and sixty million, will you believe in Jesus? <laughs> One hundred sixty million naira. One hundred and sixty. You will buy a beautiful house. You buy a beautiful rent. You will buy nice things. Put some in the account, and you'll be big boy in town. You lose it one day, and uh, your attorney will say, "Hold on to the Lord. <laughs> if you will not, not stone that, that, you use tell that to stone every." <laughs> because you will not listen. He said because they condemn the counsel of the Almighty. He said, because they rebel against the words of God and condemn the counsel of the Most High, therefore they were brought down low. Didn't you read that? I didn't want to read any further. I just want to close this meeting. One scripture. I just want to close this meeting. Folks, Psalm 107. I feel like crying for Christians who just make losses. These are so, some Christians who are used to losses. So used to another day, they are no longer risk averse. <laughs> they say danger is part of life. Risk is part of business. Who told them that? Human wisdom. Risk is part of business. It's not true. Read about Isaac. What God told Isaac. You can either stay in Egypt or go to, um, to Gera. Wherever you are. Grace is grace. If it doesn't work, they come back to you. He said, don't go. Don't leave this place. Famine. The land wasn't produced. The land that was not producing, that, that's the land. On that land, Isaac sold. And you know the story. But look at this one. Someone who said, let's read this quickly. I'm just angry. I'm angry with the sufferings of God's children. Oh, God. From verse 8. All that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to children of men, for he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with goodness, such as sit in darkness and in, the, and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebel. Are you looking at what happened to them? He said, Because they rebel against the words of God and condemned the counsel of the Most High, therefore he brought them down. Oh boy, therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. They could have avoided that trouble if they didn't condemn the counsel of the Most High. Did you see that? 
In verse 11. He says, because they rebelled against the words of God and condemned, the old English is contempt, but you know it's condemned, and condemned the counsel of the most high. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help them. Hard labor. Life that last counsel. They condemned the counsel of the most high. Therefore, they were brought down with hard labor. But look at Jacob. How did I become who I became now? And who I'm even becoming? It was all in a dream. The Lord showed me the vision. Every decision I've ever taken, after most of my 99.9% .9 of my decisions are by the spirit of counsel. Many will not ask. That it seems good in your sight does not mean to turn out good. Don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake of living your life the way it seems good to you. It says, seek the Lord where he may be found. Call you upon him. Call you upon him. I'm challenging every one of you right now in the good life nation to stop living from your senses. Leave, stop living by your sight. For we live by faith, not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. Stop living by the dictates of your sight. For to be carnally minded, to be ruled by your senses is death. But it tells us when he is born, when the branch shall come, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. And he shall make him of quick understanding of the Lord. He shall not judge. He shall not reprove by the hearing of the ear. In righteousness shall he judge. And he shall be called extraordinary strategist. And then he tells us, as he is, so are we in this life. Brothers and sisters, it's a month of supernatural strategy. The operational spirit of counsel. Glory to God. And now let's take our offering. Just take your offerings, your tithe, your first fruits, your kingdom commitment. Because I want to just pray in tongues about them. I call them your harvest for the God kind of promotion. And I declare by the Spirit of God, everything created, all created things that are not in your favor, I declare because the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking against them. And the terror of God is upon them, therefore they have become helpless. I pray for you. From the crown of your hair to the soles of your feet, spirit, soul, body, faith, family, finances, you're going out and you're coming your night and day. Everything about your life, I pray over them in spirit. La de penta she be dacta. Go hen dele man glass dedosh iba dacta. Unga boveses oboda egla oda asges. Under Skeba, Ogra Azda, Ono Dagle, Belangleskos, Frotoji, Adas Ges, Gozozegda, Agda Banzal, Abadangla, and Nodagla Agro, Ostele Behish Kiributa. I'm a die from Jabela as a light, the class the Baska. Harrow Prophesor, the Ligla Paradigos, Kogli Eshka. Paracrasa levas adi abadakla Mondela has getala Labashala mantra Abadaklam fara Adaskasa krati kataka Zelebose grasta The dark cloud over your life is gone away Is rolled away by Holy Ghost I declare this day Holy Ghost in there shall lead by spirit of counsel To the atmospheres of the miraculous May the atmosphere of your life become atmosphere of the miracle atmosphere of God healing, God favor, God's help, the atmosphere of the anointing of the Spirit of God. May the Lord order your steps to the high places of the earth. May you walk in greatness all the days of your life. May you walk in greatness. May you wake up to greatness. May you rest in greatness. Arise in greatness. May your going now be in greatness. May your return be in greatness. May you never know the ordinary life again. This small life. I declare this day. You are seed for the extraordinary life. 
I pray that the voice of the Spirit of Counsel shall be louder than every other voice you hear. I pray by the Holy Ghost you will never miss that voice again. Yes, it will drown, I pray. Every other voice will have led you astray. Matopelisia, may he speak to you in your sleep. May that Spirit of Counsel speak to you when you are awake. May he guide you when you work. May that Spirit of Counsel feed your life with strategies. Anna Daily Massa, Kebra Fare Prosely, may this word of counsel become a mighty influence in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that the finger of God this day dematerializes every difficulty in your life, everything that is hard for you to deal with. Like the, like, like the psalmist will say, He has delivered from my strong enemies. The things that are too strong for you to handle. May the finger of God be turned loose against them. May the anger of God be on the things that are too hard for you to handle. I pray that the Spirit of Counsel will guide you through life. Will lead in the path of life. In the path that drops dew and fatness. May your eyes be open to see the directions of God in your life. May your ears hear words. That are higher than human strategies. That are greater than the ideas of men. May you know what to do. May your mouth speak the things that are pleasant in the ears of God. And may the Spirit of Counsel always put words in your mouth at all points in your life. Words that are anointed to bring miracles. In a daily mask fracta. Be blessed. Be blessed. In all aspects of your life, be blessed. Be blessed with health. Be blessed with goodness. Be blessed with favor. Be blessed with strength. Be blessed with consummate wholeness and head of God. Be blessed with divine prosperity. Be blessed with shalom, shalom, shalom to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to and be gracious. May the Lord lift his candle kind of and give you peace. All the days of your, of your healthy prosperous and prolong the life in the name of Jesus Christ and may you not decrease in the influence of the spirit of counsel may it continually increase in your life in Jesus name Amen Say after me right now. Oh Lord God, I believe that you love me and that you offered your son Jesus Christ in my stead who was offered for my offenses and was raised back to life for my justification. Today, I ask for the Lord Jesus to be my savior. I ask for the remission of sins of my soul. I ask for eternal life of my spirit. And by faith, I receive the remission of sins in my soul. I receive eternal life from my spirit. And I declare, I am born again. I declare, the life of God is coming to my spirit. I declare, I now belong in the family of God. And so I ask you, Father, go and repeat after me. Come and place your mark of ownership on me by 
the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, today I become a member of the family of God. I ask for your presence into my life with the evidence of speaking in tongues. In Jesus' name, I'm born again. I have eternal life and I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. In Jesus' name. Amen. You pray that prayer, open your mouth right now and pray with me in the spirit because you have just been baptized of the Holy Ghost right now. So how do I know? Psalms 81 verse 10, it says, open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. So the rest of you pray with me just in 60 seconds. Jelemon gradis faradiga, libro cose pradina, gaizo frote gelo practice, kazam brodiga badina, e capate la gloria perisato. Ibragina Sakradi Meredose Frokitaba Rabashi Kabela Endo Cobra Irakata Labroko Rabakashi Beredidi Poso Freke Dele Manda Krista Rabababa Bokosu in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the spirit of dominion, the spirit of lordship, by the Holy Ghost, I trample and crush to pieces this day all my worries, all my cares, all my sorrows. All my troubles, all my limitations, I declare where these are bounded, grace did much more abound. By the abundance of your grace, I rule over them from today. They shall, no they shall no longer have dominion, have dominion over, me. over me. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, subdue them. I subdue them. I rule over them. them. For as it is written, the Egyptians, the Egyptians you see today, you, see today. you shall see them. No more. no more. I declare, I declare these, challenges, these challenges, these worries, these cares, these, these troubles that I see today in the name of Jesus, I shall see them no more. No more. Speak in other tongues. Go ahead. You have dominion over them by the Holy Ghost. Dominion over sin, dominion over poverty, dominion over fear, dominion over lack, dominion over anxiety, dominion over suicidal thought, dominion over same sex desires, dominion over fornication, dominion over immorality, dominion over infertility, dominion, dominion by the Holy Ghost, Lava Ponte, Lake Bosanto, Luba Haya, Luba Haya. Monta Kobo Shaha, Lee Havana Minto Kobo, Hira Pasa de Manto, Hira Pasa de Boto, Ipa Yatata, Tonsa Emigayo, Tonsa Emigayo, You have a heart, You have a heart, Siva Cambrigizo, Where the Black Tate of Paris and the Game and Rigo, Broke off with Gavaris and if a guy is so me and the Gaba, Julie Apodes, Juba Gamina, Missy for Ripataka, Zofia Tida, Zofia Tisa, Pale of Sophia, Scarfri Oscovino, Liga Pritis Devo Minda Christi, Vri Azomindo Opo Cabisa, Zaki da Ipo Cotogrisa La Mantri, Bisa Fatana, Bisa Fatana, Kure Konja Ego Pela. Lord of Patagahi, Zayi Pacanino Epicata, Adabro Coco, Alati Pandrima, Alati Bohoko, 
We have the rule over them. Bless the God who has given us the victory. By the victory of Christ, I decree we cross the pieces. We have the rule. We have the dominion. We have the rule, the influence, the authority, the power over these limitations, over these troubles, these challenges. We look for them. We find them no more. By the Holy Ghost, through the abundance of grace, we subdue them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I would advise you to hold a triumphant amen when I say that. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, this is giving reality to expectations to have desires. So say after me, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask and I receive. I possess. I have ownership of these desires, of these expectations, why it is called today. By the, Holy Ghost, By the Holy Ghost, I declare, I declare as, it written, as it is written, all things, all things are, yours. are yours. Therefore, Therefore I, take I take ownership of these, of these, of these. Of these. Today, today, I declare, I declare these, expectations these expectations have become, have become my reality. In Jesus' name, Jesus. speak another tongue. So to the lazy baby at the re and the grass of the Maliko profes the eyes gummit. Rogo Pila and Madalo Oscovrido. You repent the best if a dab at the deal. Java lied at the corn. I mean, the glassila. Billy Apollo Minto. A dive the base the base of Pope and Tata. Picani Mesco for Pet the Devil. Lutis Avis. In the Jesus. Hallelujah. 